<laughs> so Fujiko, are you were you happy with your your opening yesterday? Yes. It was nice Very to see. happy, yeah. Yeah. So all of your so, your old creative partners were yeah. there. Robert Whitman, uh, Julie Kluver from EAT, Anne Marie from from your video yeah. VTV festival in in Japan. Um, and then Barbara London Barbara, as well, yeah. and, as well. So it was nice to see them all yeah. there. <laughs> they are <they're> probably <laughs> surprised with of uh, my transformation. You know, <laughs> transformation. What do you mean? <laughs> he changed from uh, video. Oh, video right. artist to to fog artist. Fog, yeah, and that I did fog before. But it's been long. Medium. Yeah, long, long time with both mediums. Yeah, well, actually, I started when I was. Um, I started video to record my fog sculpture because there was no no mm. way to uh, right. record the movement and. Right. So, Still, photography does not right. does not <laughs> capture the the beauty and the, the experience. The movement is very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't really, you know, create the, some form or movement or whatever. It's all mm -hmm. in the air. In the in the, in the fog. Yeah. In uh, as soon as I introduce fog. Fog reads all the information in the air, mm -hmm. the meteorological conditions and the uh, uh, temperature, all re reacting to the local uh, meteorological conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the conditions change, it disappears. Right. Uh, I think that's been the, the greatest uh, impression that it's left on me. Um, is how it gives me a greater appreciation of all of these meteorological conditions, things that I'm only unconsciously aware of because it's invisible. So you feel a breeze but, and you might enjoy it but, but not necessarily understand from what direction it came. And, uh, and with the fog, you, yeah. you, it becomes visible and it is this beautiful, yeah. Swirling uh, uh, effect. Yeah, the landscape is very static if you just see it uh, visually, but uh, when you, it's full of stories, information. All these uh, things becomes visible in with fog. In fog as a medium, it's uh, really reads the atmosphere. Now, I have a question. So, did you have this level of appreciation when you first started with the fog, or is this, yeah. this appreciation something that developed as well, you worked with it? Because I know you, you first started out, or, or very early in your career, you were doing drawings of clouds, and, and, um, but then you were able yeah. to then go from uh, these two-dimensional representations yeah. to to actually working yeah, with fog. I, so was that dynamism in the environment already something you were hoping to capture? Well, I was interested in this uh, living and dying process, perpetual mm -hmm. uh, rebirth. Mm -hmm. And I saw this in phenomena in the, in the clouds and I started painting clouds, but uh, it just did not uh, capture what I wanted to convey and so I went out